Hey there. Yes, yes. Can you close the door behind you? Thank you. Okay, so you hired me for an hour for a private consultation. So the email uh, sometimes isn't enough for a lot of people. So you came in last time um, for a color analysis, correct? Yes. And so, um, yeah, yeah, you came at the right time. No, 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 it's, it's totally fine. Um, better early than never, right? <laughs> but I understand a lot of times that email consultation that we give you after your first initial color analysis is not enough. So, um, I respect that, you know, sometimes people want to come in for like the whole gig, right? They want to try the outfits, the makeup. So I got all of that for you today. Okay. Today I am more using outfits for your color analysis than anything because we already did the color analysis, you know, with the, uh, fabrics like last time with the papers. Yeah. When I matched your face, I'm still going to take pictures. But I want to give you a further consultation so that you have a a solid grasp of what... Because it all comes down to what clothes you wear, right? The whole reason we are doing this whole thing today is so we can match you with the right clothing, okay? I'm not saying you're going to wear or you have to wear these exact outfits behind me. I'll get into it. But um, I will have to, you know, go through everything with you today, okay? Okay, so... These are all the clothes that will match you, okay? And this is not all the clothes, like, in terms of color. Like, there's different colors. These are just the ones that would probably match you the most. Now, I did your analysis, and we have discovered... Oh, this thing accidentally poked me in the head. Okay. We have discovered that you are a... A bright winter and a deep winter, mostly deep winter, and that's what we're focusing on today because I, I can't do all of that too much in one day. <laughs> Impossible. You are also slightly in autumn, but you're more in the spectrum of winter, specifically deep. So this is why I'm I went with deep winter colors, and this is what we're going to focus today. If you want another consult next time, maybe where we focus on bright or autumn or something, whatever. Okay, we can do that next time. Only so much I can do it in an hour. Okay, it's impossible. So, you happen, and we always do this with every client, um, you happen to match the same tones that Anne Hathaway has. Lucy Liu, Eva Longoria, America Ferreira, and Helen Mirren. Yeah, so um, pretty cool. A lot of times um, when you think even like, um, what was her name? The one in those like scary movies. Megan. Like, you know, when you could, I think she was in Terminator 2, Megan, I forgot her name. But she has like pale face, dark hair. She's also um, deep winter. Maybe bright, but deep, I think, mostly. Megan Fox. Exactly, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so the deep winter people like you um, typically have... Um, a darker color, which is why they call it like winter, like deep in the winter, you know, like a, a darker, darker color tones work better with you. You have medium brown to black brown hair because there's no such thing as black hair. Like people are like, I have black eyes and black hair. LOL. Yeah, right. No, you have very dark brown hair that appears black. So we call that brown, black or black brown. Steel gray and salt and pepper also. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper are um, deep winter. The eyes are typically black, black brown, or dark hazel in your case. Through the photography, um, 
and obviously seeing in person, I see you have clearly brown hair, all right, mm -hmm. yes, um, and um, you mentioned that you have um, green flecks in your eyes, which you didn't really pick up on until you said it, but yes, you have brown eyes with little green flecks, so that is kind of like a brown hazel, so it kind of works with a dark slash dark hazel color, dark brown slash hazel color. Now, skin tones are um, typically like, mm, I would say fair skin. You tend to have like a fair skin with, I think, like a cool undertone, kind of like that, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's fair to say, kind of like, I would say, mm, I kind of come across as a deep winter, kind of. <laughs> but pale beige, olive color skin beige, uh, black, or black-brown um, is a more deep winter. Okay, all right, so I want you to know this so that you know what colors to avoid, okay? And this is with clothes, makeup, like picking and matching your foundation and stuff like that, powders, hair colors, steer clear, especially backgrounds. When you take pictures, like, um, this is a bit too bright, maybe a little darker blue than this. And if you take a picture against that background, we'll walk wonders for you, okay? I want some water. Okay, sorry. I have to, to clear my throat sometimes. So, steer clear from dusty, warm earth tones. Think like a desert. Like a desert eyeshadow palette, deserty, earthy tones, not good, not good. Yeah, kind of like nude colors, no. Golden browns, okay, that kind of like icky color, kind of, kind of like this, like the coat hanger color, kind of. And uh, soft peaches, which are like really gentle pinks, not like intense and bold, intense pinks, yes, it's a go. Not gentle one. Okay, so I want to like at least, I don't know, here, I want to at least show you this. Okay, those colors, yes. Um, steer clear, far, far away. Like, I'm talking, avoid it. Avoid it. Avoid it. Okay. Did I say avoid it? I said avoid it. Okay. So it's kind of ironic because those colors are the color, the skin. So people would think, oh, it would match. Not in this case. Like this is very, these colors are very close to the pale beige, beige, and olive colors. Um, so because of that deep winter appearance you have, let's say you wear that kind of a nude lip that is like the same color as your face, it would look like you have no lips. Like it, it just wouldn't work. It, it, like you look at them and it'd, be, it'd look like Manchester girl, right? It just wouldn't work on your appearance overall. Now we did also. We're not gonna do the whole jewelry thing today. I don't work with jewelry, okay? But um, I can tell you that silver works great on you. Silver actually would look the best on you, and that's because colors like ink, black, or charcoal or even optic white work very well on you. So yeah, if you did put like a literal white lipstick, that would actually work better than a nude lip. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Um, gold jewelry can work on you as well. Okay. But tone it down a bit because again, the gold is very mm, similar to these like mm, in a weird way, dusty earthy colors, tones. So like, it's hard to say because there's some colors like um, chiffon or neon that kind of are similar. Kind of like this or this, more like mm, that could shine or pop like gold does. So this is what gold can still work on you, but we more maybe would consult you to keep it to a low minimum, like a small gold ring. Not a no big chain or, you know, like, not that that's your thing anyway, but 
or like a tiara. I'm gonna keep it to silver, silver jewelry, okay? All right, so yes, 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 yes. All righty, perfect, wonderful. And I see you also have um, freckles here, okay? And you did say that um, your cheekbones can tend to be very prominent, especially when you lose weight. Um, they are prominent, quite prominent. So again, um, even in terms of makeup, we want to think about the colors to pop to make um, that part of you not necessarily pop more because it's already popping, but to sort of distract the eyes away so much from one focal point so it's a nice blended balance so that there's a nice balance between the cheekbones the eyes the lips you know what i'm saying okay yes yes so um if ever your cheekbones get more prominent then mm, keep in mind that balance that harmony so not just one point the focus okay because this goes beyond color too like it's it's all about blending balancing matching it, it takes different combinations, different things work. You, you can't always wear the same color as you know, so you got to trial and error different things to see what's the best, especially since you're bright, deep, and autumn. You have a wide combination of colors that work with you, like really wide. So have fun with that experiment. I'm going to teach you about colors today and what works, what doesn't work. But you also have very big eyes, big dark eyes, so we don't need to overdo it with the makeup as well. So like cheekbones and eyes, the main focal point is here. So how can we distract away and focus maybe here or more here in the hair, right? So you have to think about also uh, different hair combinations, you know, if you wanna cover the cheekbones, maybe a curly hair that goes over the face or, you know, just try out different things. Um, wavy hair that kind of sp spans out here to look kind of like a wig would maybe draw more attention to the cheekbones because it's like I'm here, like an open curtain. Um, and, and really short hair might actually make it obvious too because it's out in the open. So I don't know, it just depends what you want to do. Maybe you want like a side part in there, but look, we're not here to do hair. I'm just giving you ideas. Okay, so. I'm just being a little generous today. The colors that can work for you are icy pink. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you now, and I have different like kind of examples to show you here. So icy pink is more this color, this stripe, right here. This color stripe, you see that? I right, that's the icy pink. This third one here. Okay, I just went over with chalk to show you all the colors that match. This would not really match. Imagine just this. Um, it would match, but imagine it a bit darker. A bit darker orange. Um, you're about to see what I'm going to talk about. But icy pink. Fuchsia. Fuchsia would work with you as well. This is in terms of colors, makeup, whatever. Okay. Uh, grape. So imagine this. It, it, it is a dark color, but it came out brighter than I expected on this. But it just, again, uses your imagination a bit darker than this little purple grape. A cherry. So cherry would be the mix of these two. So if I were to blend these two colors. Sort of like that. You know, I could swatch it on your hand to kind of give you an idea like that in between color cherry works okay uh chiffon which is this color that uh i'm sorry this color that's white this is chiffon it's like a very light yellow but i it's not dusty it's just like a it pops it's like a bright yellow neon would be more i would say this array of color greenish yellow kind of like that yeah exactly or more like that yeah Mm -hmm. Permission, permission. So that's the darker orange. Blood. I don't really have blood on here, but it's like a um, not like blood, you know, like a like a really dark red sort of. Okay, royal. Um, 
I would say it's a bit darker than this, royal. Bright navy would be even darker, even darker. Just dark blue. Emerald is about this color of green. Pine, even darker green, like pine forest, pine needles. Ink black, you can use your imagination. Ink black, that's the darkest color ever. Optic white, that is this white color. This is just white chalk, okay? It looks yellow because it's next to the neon, but it's actually white. Charcoal is just like a gray color, sort of like this checkerboard, uh, chalkboard, um, excuse me, that kind of color. And coffee, I don't have it here, but it is a a dark brown, basically a coffee color, like a coffee bean. Okay, all right. So you, you get the idea. Those are kind of the colors that can work well on you. Maybe I should have put the, um, if I put, <laughs> silly me, if I had put the yellow next to the orange and the pinks, it would have flowed better, but you, you get the flow. It's like orange, pink, yellow, blue, purple, green, white. Okay, so those are very like, how do I say this? Think of the colors of a vibrant, bright sunset. Okay. And a deep blue sky with dark green trees. With a bright yellow and white sun. Okay. And a hint of lavender in the forest. Right? So think of that in the wintertime, how the colors are dark, vibrant, bold. You know, the pine trees hold their color in the winter, and the sky looks like a dark blue during that time, at night specifically, like a navy blue. Uh, and the sunset's just as beautiful, like orange, pink, red, that kind of thing, but bold, bright colors. Think that, like maybe something you'd find in Alaska or Montana. So uh, that's more what I envisioned for you today. Mm-hmm. All right. And um, so there you go. Um, that is that. So, uh, for contrast, uh, basically, like, this is who you are. Um, you have a dramatic contrast between your hair, your skin, and your eyes. So that's what makes you ultimately a deep winter. Uh, what works for your hair in the future when you go to the salon, because I'm telling you, like, you could take all of this advice... You could have the best makeup, the best clothes, but if the hair ain't right, people are going to focus the attention on the hair more than anything else you put effort into. So, although we're not doing hair today, this I still want to make that very clear. Uh, a deep color. So, tell them I just want a deep coloring. And they should know because if they're a good stylist, they should have had schooling to understand how colors work. Um, you'd be surprised. Yeah, that's why a lot of people walk out with bleached hair and it's falling apart. Yeah, exactly, because they didn't, you know, I guess study the material enough to understand how chemicals and hair works. Yeah, it's like those people that want to go to platinum blonde from black brown hair in like two days. It's just, it's not going to work. <laughs> but a deep color with cool undertone, just like your skin complexion, okay? Such as an ash or a blue. Okay, so like a think, um, sorry, mm. I just had my lunch, I didn't realize it was stuck to my tooth, mm. I, I think like when people dye their hair platinum blonde, they have that blue shampoo, that kind of like undertone it gives, and then after you blue shampoo it, and you wash it off, you see that kind of blueness undertone to the platinum, that's kind of what I'm thinking, but with dark hair. It's hard to conceive, but yeah, that's why like a, like I said, a steel grain of salt pepper kind of works, okay? If you ever did change your hair color from brown into like a lighter tone and you get tired of your brown hair, sometimes it happens, but ash also like salt and pepper, you know, but specifically no red or gold highlights. That would not work. That's like a totally different, yeah. Gold, maybe, but you got to tone it down because, yeah, like I said with you, gold jewelry, gold highlight can work because you're still autumn too. So it's, uh, let's stick to the topic so I don't get carried away and run out of time. All right, for skin, 
pink or blue undertones. Great. All right. Um, so the main ones are blue, pink, orange, red, and green. Those are the main colors that work. Um, the cool and brilliant colors, basically. So pink or blue for skin, cool undertones for hair, ash or blue. For eyes, an intense pigment soaked color. Okay. Bold and popping. Dyed hair. If you dye your hair lighter though, and you have a skin that's olive to light, uh, you should kind of lean toward like a darker side of like a delicate and cool color. Okay. Yeah, so not like that brilliant or popping. Because then it will be too much, right? Like when you have like a bold popping high and hair and lip, it's just too much, right? It comes across too much. So if you have like a... Okay, this is not applying for you. Um, but let's say you tanned your skin on a vacation in the Bahamas, right? Uh, you can go to that autumn or that warm, rich, toned, suggestive color, right? Or suggested color, I would say, rather. Um, so as you age, as you mature, as you get older, as everyone, uh, your color will fade subtly, and so your best match would be the delicate cool. So more your autumn tones would make you even pop like appear more youthful because you know as you age you get already more pale and like the gray hairs and stuff like that so you want to start adding more color to give it that youthful vibrant appearance all right so that's everything um i do have some tickets here <laughs> that would kind of help you um you know just like swatches, put it against your skin tone and see like, oh, this works, this works, this works, you know, this doesn't work. So these are the top three I selected for you specifically. So colors maybe you want to work with on, like let's say your eyeshadow, right? You just put it up to your eye next to the mirror and yeah, like or you want a different type of blush, like maybe a a more orangey tone blush rather than a pink blush you know you can do this and kind of see on yourself you know you can see on me let's say it's like orange more better than pink pink never worked on me Ugh. I mean like you can kind of tell <laughs> it never works especially not against this background so yeah anyways um you know you can combine like let's say purple and pink look very nice together and I think they might look nice on you, but like orange and purple, yeah, maybe not so much. Well, it, it can work. It, it kind of works on you too because of your autumn complexion. Let's see, pink and orange, not really. It still kind of works on you though. So this is, I'm giving you this to remind yourself like, okay, these colors, you know, let me stick to these main three and then kind of, you have to be a little risky sometimes and experimental. So I'm going to show you the color wheel. Okay, so let's say you do decide to go. I'm gonna have that ticket back. Thank you. And it's kind of like your ticket to, you know, to choose. That's kind of what we do around here. Your ticket to choose, like what color you want. So it kind of reminds you. You can. Some people like to have these in their bathroom mirror. Like they keep them hanging there to kind of remind them. So let's take a look. Okay. So this is more uh, between these two colors, right? I would say. Wouldn't you agree? So what often works on a color wheel is either the colors next to it or nearest to it and the colors totally diagonal from it. So in this case, what would more work with this color would be these colors as well. This always reminds me, as a reminder, if I don't have a color wheel around me, like those sports colors, like the Chicago Bears, I believe, are orange and blue, their team color, right? So I, I like to remember, like, okay, it is an odd color, but it works. 
okay and it's not always going to be exactly these colors like rarely do we ever wear this color or have it on our makeup like obviously so um anything even near to this color like i said or this color so if you let's go back to the wheel let's let's just strictly pick a color so if we went from this color to this color what is diagonal from that it would be this blue okay if we went let's say to this red what would be diagonal from that this green so in a sense in a sense this green could technically work with this type of a orange just as this red would work with this type of a, a blue does that make sense? Like on the American flag, right? Okay, and a lot of flags do have those colors, white, blue, red, you know, there's similarities and everything. So it just helps you kind of select, you know? All right, um, I mean, do I really have to show you? I guess I will. Here, purple. I just like playing with the color wheels. I can't help it. Yellow. Okay. All right. Purple, yellow. So how can you make that work? Think also like this more works also with like furniture, wall colors in your house, right? Stuff like that. But again, what can work? Pink. These two. Get it? And then what's diagonal? Yellow and green. Green and pink, think like pastel, spring, right? Since, you, uh, let's not push it, you're in autumn and winter, okay? But again, uh, you're like a primary color, more primary colors work, you get me? So these are mm, very bold color in this wheel, and this is why I pick it. I did not pick pastel, so, so don't think pastel. I'm just trying to use your imagination. Okay, I don't want to like overstretch the imagination though because I, I myself can get carried away as well. All right, so now that we got the basic components down, we know you, we know your skin, your hair, makeup, everything that we're going to do now. Okay, we're going to do your makeup, your photos, don't worry. I'm still going to further your color analysis. A lot of colors I selected the first time you visited me a few days ago. It's been like a week or two now, right? Hasn't it? Time went by. So... Most of the colors in the papers and the fabrics matched you, okay? And that's the beauty of being a bright, deep autumn person. Most colors will match you. So you're in luck. So most times you go to the store, the outfitters, you get, you know, your clothes tried on in the mirror. Maybe you go to visit the tailors. <laughs> And what do you find? Most clothes work on you, most likely, right? So, I thought that this color worked, the orange, okay? Mm-hmm. Of course, just as we went over, so this should come as no shock to you. Red. Okay, remember, think sunset. White. Clearly. Pretty straightforward. Neon, green, yellow, most yellows, and a dark, vivid blue. So, okay, so blue, neon, white, red, and orange. So that's with your face. Those mm, specific five works I found the most based on the facial. Um, analysis so don't be afraid to do a neon eyeshadow with a blue lip you know what i'm saying you can go a little crazy for a simpler more down to earth but not earth tone look red lip orange eyeshadow or red eyeshadow orange lip maybe that's a bit overkill um with a white speck right to make the eyes pop I mean, really, again, think of the color combo wheel, orange and green. So you could do 
neon and orange eyeshadow mix and blend it together. And then maybe a grape, plum, red lip, whatever, okay? I'm not just saying you only have to pick these colors. You can pick the colors next to them or the colors across the wheel. So what's across blue, dark blue, yellow, orange, right? What's across the neon? Pink, right? Like, exactly. So um, that just gives you more of an idea. I, I'm just trying to help you remember so, you, you know, it can stay with you. And that's our strategy to help our clients. Yeah, just kind of recall more. Recollect. Here are the cloth fabrics. So this worked well on you. Very well, in fact. Most cloth fabrics. All right, this dark orange. Mm -hmm. This blue. Okay. Yep. And you can see yourself in that mirror as I put this on you. I'm not going to take your pictures yet, only when we do the outfits and the makeup. Okay. First, we're going to do the makeup before we try the clothes. This purple. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep. And I want to show you on me as well so you see like how the color looks on me since we're kind of very similar. I have olive skin. I can be a, um, a mix of. Um, the stuff you mentioned too. Red. This red, okay. Yeah. This, um, oh, what was that? This dark yellow. Did I drop something? Oh, I dropped a lipstick. Ex excuse me. Apologies, I did not see that. So there you go. Oh, right. You see what I mean? This orange as well. <laughs> okay. Now yeah, that's a nice color, isn't it? Yeah, it really does work. And this forest. Foresty. Emeraldy green. Got it? Good. Done. Okay. Remember what I said, right? This is also, I believe, um, a good combo. You just kind of have to try it out, right? This can be a good combo. Um, if we really do like the whole color wheel thing again. Yellow. Red, orange, red, green, right? Red, green works well together. And then yellow, orange, red, green transitions nicely from color to color, right? Blue, purple, obviously, you know, dark, bold. They're always going to work well together. Um, purple and green works well. So if you have green eyes or hazily eyes, purple eyeliner works well. So just giving you some inspo, right? Green and yellow also very well. That makes the green yellow color that we see. But then also don't be afraid. Yellow, green, and purple. Look how well that works, doesn't it? Yellow, green, purple, yellow, sorry. Yellow, green, blue, purple. Doesn't that all transition very nice? And then we have this bold orange, obviously. Bright orange, dark orange, yellow, bright orange, dark orange. Again, yellow, bright orange, dark orange, red. Okay, all works well. And then sometimes you want to be risky. Pop a, pop a random color in there. See, it still works. Okay, don't be afraid to be bold. All right, so I hope that gave you an essence to your core of what... See that? All the colors even work together. Everything's compatible. It just flows. You can't explain it. It just works. Okay? So there you go. Got it? Okay. All right. So that's very clear now. So I'm going to begin 
um, laying these out on you and taking your picture, okay, just so you really remember and have this with you and it sticks with you. So I'm going to lay out the green on you, yellow. Red, orange, blue, purple, and the dark orange color. We're gonna go ahead and take photographs now. Can you turn to the side a bit so I have a side view of you? I could just see your hair. Wonderful. You can see yourself in the mirror now with those things on you. You see what I mean? Yeah. Some people like to, you know, let's say, hmm. Um, what would I look like with green hair, right? And then they put this over there. I mean, you could do that. You see? This can tell you immediately. What did we mention earlier? Did you remember? I know we said a lot about the hair, dyed hair. If it's lighter, um, do cool and delicate. So maybe this could work. Maybe not on me, no. But we're different people, right? So know your limits know what works. Maybe you want to try, this would be probably a better idea to try because most people don't have green hair. They, they want to try like purple. Uh, okay, how would purple look on you? This looks better on me, right? You know, this is where you go. How would blonde, okay? This is not quite blonde, but... <laughs> okay, that's more like a banana yellow. Some people try blue, right? blue could work. You see? Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Trial and error, my friend. Trial and error. Trial and error. I know one time I had like a, not an orange color, but what was it? Uh, it was more like a dark red-ish, it, it, but it was a beautiful red, like the most beautiful, like, I don't want to say like auburn. Yeah, that kind of like, mm, kind of like that. It's hard to tell because of the shirt I'm wearing. But, yeah, again, these are crazy colors for hair, so obviously it's going to be hard to tell. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily work that way because when you dye your hair red and you have brown hair, it comes off like maroon. That's the right word I'm looking for. Right? So, um, yeah. I always like to show this photograph of Kim K because um, the blend of color she has here um, works. <sighs> but at the same time, it's like you know it doesn't work and there's a better combo. Like when she had platinum blonde, you remember it kind of like was like a little off on her. She always looked better with just like pure brown. Yeah. So but it still works, but in her case, she has like the nude that works on her. The earthy tones work on her, right? The fiery coral reds. Uh, and it's quite different in contrast from the blonde. That's why I say it doesn't really like, uh, you know, if she had kept it maybe toned down a bit, it would have worked better. But this was kind of like her addition palette of the uh, fiery red colors. So, yeah, it was called So Fire, yeah. <laughs> so that was just kind of the point there. But uh, I bring this palette to you today to show you that these colors will never work on you. These two. These two, yes. So let's do a swatch. So the reds and the oranges. And so I'm going to mix the two to show you. Um, 
the combo color, right? This can work. Okay. Now, yeah, let me show you the contrast. So, um, these are hard because these are earthy tones. I don't like this color specifically on you, but it, we'll, we'll see what we can do to make it look bold rather than earthy. This as well. And maybe this, maybe. Again, it's like bold. I just hate how earthy it looks. If you mix the brown and the yellow, you get sort of this tone. Uh, I can't even explain it in the context, this tone of color. So any, any combination, any mixing, um, let's see, we mix all four, right? Anything closely resembling that can work for you. Just for goodness sake, not these colors, please. The earthy, this is too earthy. Um, shoot, even this, no, I ran out of fingers. This, no, okay, not that one. So I hope you get an understanding of what I'm talking about here. Uh, on you today, I want to try the boldest possible. So I'm going to go with the red and I'm going to introduce it on your eye and just blend it a bit. It's not going to be perfect, but we're just doing a little blend nation today. Okay? Nothing special. All right. A little blend nation. All righty. So uh, I will swatch on you here to show you, yes, those colors. All right. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Just remember, I would go with like, let's say like a Sephora palette. Those don't look earthy. Those will be more bold and popping. These are way too earthy for the liking. So these colors as well, orange, brown, as you see here. Okay. So we're going to put this as a lip gloss on you. I'm going to swatch. Mm. Right there. Okay. So red eye and brown lip. In your case, I think a darker lip would work better than darker than the eyeshadow itself would look good. Um, I'm gonna go in with this color lip liner. Okay. I'm gonna do your eyebrows with this coffee brown. Okay, it's a brunette, so anything to match the hair will work amazing. I'm gonna start putting this, let's swatch. Okay. The eyebrows are also the most important, one of the most important features of defining the face as well. So there you have it. The hair and the eyebrows, which is also the hair. Anywhere you have hair, make that the first focus, even eyelashes, it's hair, okay? Uh, on men specifically, even the facial hair, right? They, they, want, they forget about that too. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go in with this liner and darken your eyebrows further, making them bold. I don't know why I did that. It's a habit. It's just a pencil, it's not a dipping cream. Okay. 
um, I'm trying something risky, so I want to add risk, right? You want to add risk. Don't be like everyone else. Purple. Let's see. Let's eyeline with purple. Let's see what happens. Purple and red. Meh. This is not red red. It's like more like a um, orange red eyeshadow. So it can work. What did I say earlier? <laughs> and more works maybe with this, but it can work. Let's give it a shot. The point is not even the color. The point is to show you what can work. And remember, you're a bright winner, so that also works with this too. All right. Um, so we're going to kind of tone down the purple a bit with the black, the charcoal black. So I'm going to put it like a wing as well. So it's not too much because... It's not totally compatible with that color there. But, 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 we're not done. You did, did have a brown lip. I think because of the color we put just now, this would work better for you also. Topping it off with this orangey lip. So you see? Look at that. Come on, you can't tell me that doesn't work. I maybe should have put the lip stick and then the lip gloss. I'm going to put more gloss. Yeah, sorry. Your lips are caked, but don't worry. It's going to show up nicer on the um, camera here, so yeah, that's good. All right. So let us put, mm, I want to put a contrasting color on you just to get like a vibe of, you know, I don't want to put, just put the same colors on you. Let's put this yellow here and then take your photograph. Oh, that looks so nice. And let's try one more. Um... Let's try the purple. Ooh, risky. I like it. It's it's giving risk. It's giving... I'm not sure if that works, but it works either way, you see? All right, so you'll get also in this second consultation all the images of the pics I just took. Now, yes, now we are getting to the clothes to finish off. Let me just wipe my fingers here. I did have a makeup remover wipe. I'm not sure where I originally placed it. Here we are. So I would hate to touch these clothes. With nasty fingers. Yeah, we do want to keep these around for other clients that are also your tone. But you see, color is very um, simple yet advanced. It's an art, it truly is, and that's why artists have to, you know, think about different ways and going about things and Sometimes the easiest art is ugly art because you don't need to think about what matches. You just need to throw up different colors of paint and, you know, go wild. I used to be a painter in my day before I picked this job. Okay. So, we are all good. Clean. Good. Okay. So, this will work because it not only has charcoal but black as well. And guess what's on the bottom? Royal navy blue. There's also a skirt under this that is all black. Okay. So, um, 
all I'm going to do for now is just put this on you, all right? And then you can go ahead, just, yeah, just like drape it over you so that I can take a picture. It would just take forever to put clothes on and off. Take a picture. All right, and I can Photoshop the makeup for the second picture so I show you like what it looks like with makeup, without makeup. So we don't have to keep wiping the face, redoing the face. Right, exactly. So thank you for that. All righty. So here's the greenish neon, sort of chiffon look as well. And in the inside is that yellow and green that works so nice, black and white. There's another outfit under this white and black, strictly. Okay, so you see that? And you can even have this like as a coat over a, a coat, right? So different color combos that can work together. All right, so let's put that over you. Just like that, yeah. Just hold it, hold it tight. Oh, yep, yeah, just hold it right there. You can do it. I know it's heavy. <laughs> it's the hardest part of today. Yeah, you got it. Excellent. Yeah, I know, I know, we're almost done. It's a lot, I know. A lot in one day. We get a lot done here, around here. We really do. <laughs> so here's another couple clothes I handpicked for you. Here's the neon color and white color polka dot. I thought polka dots and stripes also work well. Guess what? This dress actually has most all the colors that works in you too. Red, white, orange, black, brown, green. See that? It's like a for African travel print. I thought that looked very cool. So I'm just going to have these two over you so I could show you like, you know, that both works on you. Okay. It would just take forever to do one by one by one by one by one. I get things done fast around here, don't I? That's how we do things. Okay. so much time in the day. Can you actually turn so I can see only your hair? There we go. That looks really nice against those clothes. Thank you. So, again, you see how drastically different this is from this? Um, but it works individually. Obviously, it doesn't work together. Unless you count these little black and white spots that kind of like this kind of has the same pattern as this doesn't it but ignoring that <laughs> individually they work but separately they don't that's kind of what works on you even with this you see this, this is all pastel -y. i went i decided to go risky here because we we like to have risk like playing the lottery here i said no pastel for you but this works because it has the blues the whites and the pinks okay and also Inside of that doesn't work. They're bold, red, green, and white, and pink. Okay? See that? So it's like a long white dress. Okay? So. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not saying you should wear this with this. No way. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm not even quite saying that you should wear this with this either. Absolutely not. I'm just... I have to do that in that order so that the colors can show in the picture and you can see and compare. Will this work with this? Will this work with this? Okay, makes sense. Cool. Last picture. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, so yeah, I think that still ended up working on you. Okay. And these are kind of wintry colors like blue, white, pink, like a winter morning sky, right? Exactly. So, there you go. Um, would you like me to remove your makeup? Absolutely. Yeah, I kind of wouldn't hate for you to go home. I've seen in public with the messy eyeshadow I did on you. I, again, it's just all about color, not about appearance today. Alrighty, there you go. Yes, I think the silver jewelry would work well. And 
when you think winter, you think these outfits anyway. You don't really think of spring. These are more like springy colors, kind of, right? This is more maybe autumn. This is more winter. Winter, okay? You get me? Right, exactly. But again, risk. So there's many different combinations. Yeah, this would work well on you because black and pink. Exactly. So you get the drift. You get the hang of this. Ooh, a pink lip and a black eyeshadow. Or a pink eyeshadow and a black lip, right? Mm-hmm. But that could depend on what you're wearing as well. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, when you also, I forgot to mention, if you're not sure about clothes and makeup, here's a trick. So let's say you want to wear a shirt that's this color. So you fold it up, right, as best you can. And then you swatch the color you want to wear and you put it next to each other like this. And then you go down the list. Oh, that works. That works. That is too similar, so it might not work. That, maybe. That, mm, yeah, that works. That, maybe. That gonna work so that's how you kind of go about it if you don't want to keep putting makeup on trying clothes on just quick and then it's also on your skin so it shows you not only your skin tone but the color you're gonna wear so I will give you sample fa these fabrics as samples I will have to cut them um, I'll probably mail them to you because we don't have that much time today your finalized order and then I can give you uh, sample products like lips, stains, and glosses, and little like sample eyeshadow palettes. Okay. I can even throw in a couple like hair samples, right, that you see in the salon. I do do that, but I, I really don't make hair the focus around here. Okay. Yeah, I hope you understand. So I've got some on your shirt there down your neck, so I'm just going to And I also, I didn't do the whole foundation, concealer, contour today because I like to let people's natural beauty shine. So you have naturally beautiful freckles and cheekbones. So I don't, since you already have high defined cheekbones, why should I contour and bake? You know what I'm saying? There's no purpose in that when you already have the natural emanating out of you, okay? But yeah, since you do have very fair skin and cool undertones, again, this always make like, if you're not sure in your wardrobe and you're not sure and you don't feel that confident in a day, pick the safest bet. Don't even risk it. Like, this would be your safe. This would be your safest bet. This, maybe two. This and this would be your last choice, okay? So, that's all. Of course, all this information will be in your final, final email. All right, unless you choose to come again, we can do something different than this, okay? A, a, a totally different. What else could we possibly do? I mean, I don't know. I don't do hair, so... <laughs> I think I could pretty much covered everything. All right. There you go. There you go. People, they most commonly come in here for, like, wedding day makeup. They just come in here. They don't even care to learn. They just come in here one-off. 500 bucks, done, right? Um, they don't care about the whole, like, how what works with what color. But yeah, so I'm acting different with those clients. <laughs> you definitely cared more than they did. So I'm glad. Thank you for allowing me to uh, show you these swatches, samples, and palettes, and be well. Take care and enjoy your, I hope you enjoyed your makeup, photo shoot, and color analysis today. All right. Is that all today? Okay. Wonderful. Excellent. Yes, we can even, I can even snip some fabric samples. Yes, of, of these clothes. Absolutely. It's no issue. Yes. Okay. Take care now.